All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I have Michael Jensen here, aka Brave Jayhawk, for we, uh, yes, there is going to be a podcast in week 10. Uh, that's good news. And we're going to go over uh, how we did last week, and then we are going to carry on with uh, what we like uh, what we like this week. So I'm going to start um, and kind of take you on kind of a tour of my brain for the last uh, you know three days leading up until lock. Um, for those of you that were with this podcast uh, last week, um, you might recall, and I'm going to actually pull week nine back up here, um, that I was kind of, I don't want to say torn, but I was faced with the decision of whether I wanted to play Cincinnati with the higher EV or drop down to something like New England. And that was, that was, that was, that was my, my thoughts. I was, you know, when we did this podcast and when I was talking with my partners, my partner, I set an arbitrary number that, that for me to not take New England, um, there would have to be at least a 10 cent gap in, in EV between uh, Cincinnati and, uh, and New England. Now, as, as when I turn the you know, mic over to Michael Hill, he looks at things a little differently. There's sometimes even earlier in the season where he would say, Listen, I don't even care what their EV is. I'm not taking them uh, and this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. And for whatever reason, I just had like this 10 cent thing in my head, you know, that, that that's, that's what was going to take for me to play Cincinnati over New England. So I was kind of watching that pretty much all week. And, and the fact is that Cincinnati, it also didn't help that they were below 1.0. 1, 1. Because remember, to, for those of you who don't remember, I really wanted to save Cincinnati for week 11 so that I could push Baltimore back to week 16, 17, and, and whatever. I thought that was really important. But I would also have to respect if Cincinnati had it like a 10 cent edge that I'd have to respect that in some way. So that was in my head. So as the week was going on, you know, New England – they were kind of at, you know, 0 0.86, 0 0.87 all week. And Cincinnati was at 0 0.95, 0 0.96. Then the news on Jonathan Taylor uh, being out kind of bumped them up a little bit. But then I was mentioning to my partner, well, listen, New England's not going to be only 8% owned as they were projected on Thursday. So we got to keep an eye on that. And then meanwhile, yeah. slowly but surely, Green Bay started creeping up into my into my rearview mirror. You know, they, they started to compete with New England – for the next EV play. And I didn't, I didn't anticipate that when we first spoke Wednesday, but then I started to think to myself, I said, listen, maybe green Bay is what I'm supposed to do here. If in fact it pans out that I don't want to play Cincinnati and there's significantly better EV in New England, because I could, I, I don't really need green Bay. I and mean, I could use them maybe in 13 or 17 but, or 18. So this, this is what I was going back and forth with pretty much all week. And then like, like on the bottom of the barrel, I still had this idea that if all else failed, I could just drop all the way to Arizona in pure suicide mode. You know, my partner really, really liked Arizona against the spread and whatever it is. And if I want a completely no a total pure play that nobody was taking, I had that. So I'm going back and <clears throat> back and forth. This is pretty much all weekend long. And I'm like, then I see Green Bay kind of eclipse New England a little bit. And I said, you know what? I just still think New England's the idea. I think we want to say save, save Green Bay. But then slowly but surely, the New England ownership just kept on creeping, kept on creeping. And as we're about, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes from lock, I was walking down, down, the, uh, down my street. I was walking my dog. And it hit me like a ton of bricks what I was supposed to do. So I, you got you to stick with this whole story. So yeah. I went and I called my, my partner back. And he was like, so I said, listen, I figured it out. I said, listen, first of all. We just can't play Cincinnati. We just can't do it. I mean, you have to, I'm going to have to save them. Their EV sucks anyway. And I want to save them for 11 hour high, high water. So for me, it was down between Green Bay, New England, and Arizona, to which now, now, those you know results are like, oh my God, I hope you picked the right one. There's two of those teams lost, right? So, so I'm looking at Green Bay and I said, I said, Jack, we're just, it's just not going to be the Green Bay idea. I really want to save them. I said, if you really want to know the truth, the pure play, and keep in mind, I knew that he liked Arizona against a spread, so I knew he'd have no problem going with this. I said, I think we're just supposed to say screw New England, keep them for 11. They're going to be higher owned than 10% anyway, and let's just take Arizona. I was so proud of myself. And he said to me, he said, dude, I really think that's taking too much risk. And I'm like, Seriously? You love Arizona so much. You're the one I was counting on by for going with this. Well, I'll tell you this. If I can't get full approval from you with this, screw all that. We're going to go with New England. So this is like you talk about luck and how all this stuff comes to pass. You know, I have literally talked myself into playing Arizona, 
talk myself off of playing New England. And then what happened is we played New England. And then when picks locked, you know what they got? 18% ownership in my pool, New England. Okay? Uh, that's great. That's fantastic. And Wentz has said, 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 Jack, I'm telling you, the survivor guys are going to punish us for this. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, they became a, an atrocious play based on what I my parameters were. They're going to lose. Arizona's going to win. And I'm, and I'm going to be so pissed off. And the first drive of the game, New England could do nothing. I mean, literally, literally nothing. Okay. Now, uh, Michael was smart. He went to church. He didn't watch, right? So I, I actually sweated a couple of possessions. And then eventually uh, the, the truth came out that, that Indianapolis can literally not move the ball. So New England ended up uh, getting the job done really easily. So I advanced. And, um, you know, we could talk about this. And then, then I was stuck rooting. Not stuck. Then I was rooting for, 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 Tennessee, for Tennessee with the rest oh. of the players. And they and they 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 you know they lost. So I did end it up. I ended up making, I guess by the math, a bad play. But I also ended up getting very lucky. You know, we talk about like what's what sometimes it's good to have partners, sometimes it's bad. This particular time, it was really, really good because I would have definitely talked myself off of New England at the end and into Arizona. But I had New England and ready to go. What do you what how'd you do last week? And then we'll go on to this one. Well, I made a comment I want to explain. If someone, I, I said terrific a second ago, and he said 18%. And the reason I said terrific is mine was at 30% ownership. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> you know, it, you know re- relatively speaking, 18% sounds fantastic. Funny. Um, I actually disagree. I, I don't think it was a bad pick that we made. I, um, in, in the end, you're guessing which which way people are leaning. Um, mm-hmm. There. I was shocked at how low Cincinnati was owned. Only um, only three people out of twenty seven. Well, oh, remind them. remind me though. Remind me what your pool is though. Is it is it is it, is it sneaky? Is that a- no S- singles? Okay. Um, and there were we're doing some. Pre- I mean, we're at the stage where we're mapping everybody. Yeah. Um, yep. I love and, that. Uh, totally we got. I mean, there were ten people that had them left. Out of twenty-seven, I can't remember what we thought the bare minimum would be, but I, I think it was around. I think it was we thought five or six would take them. So for three to come in is is pretty low. And what ends up happening is I assume I did not go through it, but uh, the people that got off of Cincinnati took New England instead. Um, so that's what inflated the New England numbers right. in my pool. So I don't think it was a bad play. I think it's. Uh, I'd just say. It's unfortunate. Um, I think it easily could have went the other way. It, I'm not going to go through and look at it, but if the people that took that didn't take since they went to New England, if they just leaned the other way, that's true. It it could have been six Cincinnati and five New England at a at a 27, and we would have been very you know we would have been very happy with that. Um, we went uh, we went one Philadelphia. Um, we had one. We only had one Philadelphia left. We really chalked it up in this pool because we had three of the remaining twenty-eight entries. So right. we went. We went very conservative in uh, nine um, or eight, rather, and then we carried that over into nine by using our last Philadelphia. Um, I was adamant that we should take two New England. Um, it was also easier for me to do that because I was not going to watch the game and put myself through that pain. I went to the zoo. <laughs> um, my my partner wanted to go one Kansas City, New England, and I uh, I came up with a bunch of I don't, don't want to say bias, but pure pro to England reasoning and laid it out. And he said, "Okay, that's fine." Um, it, it, as it as it was, I think it's definitely the better play because. Kansas City ended up being 37% picked in that pool. Um, and we lost we lost one in Arizona. I do like the Arizona pick as long as you're the only one. Uh, if we had done that, I wouldn't like it just because it would be two. Right. Um, and then one person did take Green Bay. In my other pool with, a hun- I don't know, 115 left. Is this the playoff um, pool? No, th- that, that's the playoff one, the one we have three left. It oh. extends into the playoffs If okay. uh, for those listening. If, if there's more than one left at the end of the regular season. My other one has doubles in 12 and 13. And uh, that was a, that was a slam dunk New England one. I didn't even care what the ownership was. Um, right. And uh, more important to set up the 12 and 13 doubles. And of course, you know, the, the other uh, sharp player, he went, he had 
eight or nine entries, and he split them all between Cincinnati and Las Vegas. So, I mean, he's just absolutely crushing. the The Kansas City game was was uh, was a was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, I I did not go into the game hoping or or, or thinking there was a chance. I watched it because like I, this is the only game I'm going to watch today. I, I I live in Kansas City. I root for the Chiefs. Oh. Um, so you know, I, I I just assumed that they'd blow them out. And then you start getting that, you know, that yeah. excitement going. Yeah. Um, that, that was a tough one. And, and, and I put it on the discord. The next day was tough to wake up to. Uh, I, I started mapping out weeks 14, 15 specifically, which we'll get into a little in a little bit. And uh, there's 23 left and uh, 10 people have Dallas left. We are three of them. And the other seven all took Kansas City. Nice. This past week. And nice. that was just, I'm, well, that was crushing. I mean, they crushing, all. Crushing, but it will be nice. It will be nice. No, well, no, but we would have been the only, no, they have Dallas left, though. And if, if Kansas City had lost, we would have been the only ones with Dallas left. Right, but they, they, but they and, don't, they won't have them for 15. So Kansas City. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They don't have that, but we already have, yeah. So that, that, that was a tough one, but that, that's how it goes. So, so um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give a couple of comments on, yeah, I don't want to do this too much, but. Two different kind of industry comments. Uh, one, one I want to shout out. Whatever. One for those of you who've been following it. That that that. I don't want to use epithets. I don't want to say you know bad words. Or the, the gentleman with six entries in circa played literally the worst play you can make. And sometimes the survivor survivor gods uh, punish you. And uh, and in this particular case, they did. Um, he picked, played six buffaloes. Um, didn't want to save him for Thanksgiving. Didn't want to save him for fourteen. Just felt like just playing the team with the best winning chances and, you know, and, and just, and just lost, you know? Um, so, but the one I want to shout out to, and this, this is actually pretty brutal. So I, um, uh, cause it's a name people have heard of. So I, I played the, I play the Grigorich pool every year and it's a pretty sharp pool in general survivor. I lost like week one in that this year, but um, for those of you who don't know, who Mike Matisau is. So, so Mike Matisau, very famous poker player, you know, Known poker player, known degenerate, known everything. Just really, really, really nice guy though. And you know, he's he's a guy that like just ne- he just doesn't win. Yeah, you know, he just doesn't. He's one of those guys, you know. And, he and, wants to. Part of him wants to lose. He's one of those. Yeah, I guess. And and, and for no reason, I went and I pulled up the uh, Gregorich pool yesterday just to see who was still left. And going into the Kansas City game, he was through with Philly. Yeah, he he got the one. And the other three guys left in the pool all had Kansas City going. Oh no! And so he was live for the whole cheese for if Kansas City lost, and and Kansas City survived, and he and he went on tilt on on Twitter also. And I let him know that I knew which pool. How he was many involved. how many people or how many entries were in that pool this year? Uh, it's like it's like a couple hundred. I think it's like a couple hundred thousand for first, something like that. Um, oh my god but yeah so that's bad he's still in circa though i think um as well he is he, yeah he, uh, so. at least, yeah he yeah he, he I, I know he made it this week yeah, yeah but that was that, that was a rough one for him mm. Yeah, mm. Yeah, i'm pretty sure he could use the money um so so let's so let's talk about this week and, and so and keep in mind everybody right and it's kind of hard to do but you know we're, we're going to try to approach this for in general but it's only natural for us to also talk about this in, in terms of our own pools right so so I think that's that's kind of cool. Like for example, like 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 uh, when when you were overheard us talking about what we did last week, and then you heard well all the all the pain I went through to to come up with my pick, and then you hear Michael say, "Well, I played two Philly." You said, "Why, well, Eric? Why didn't you just go play two Philly?" Well, uh, 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 no, you know what I mean. Like no, well, I, I I played one Philly. No, 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 no. My yeah. point is obviously if I had Philly available, I would have played them. You know oh I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the point. I mean, just try to try to follow on what we're you know the different discussions. I'll try my best to to. To be general and as well as whatever. So, uh, I want to. I'm going to start. You know what? I, I'm going to rank them by EV. Mm-hmm. I want to do this. All right. So let let's just start with this. Why don't you do it for? I'll. You can go first. Starting with particular to your pool, and also in general. Like, what are your views on Philly this week? There's some big news we got to discuss first. This Buffalo situation really puts quite a wrinkle in the next. Uh, not not this week, as Buffalo wasn't a play anyway. Now it's. You know, you, you could never take it. Um, it's unfortunate because Buffalo is not a play this week with Josh Allen starting at, at 100% strength, but it could have tricked a couple people into picking them. Um, but it definitely should alter 
most a lot of players' strategies for specifically week 11. Um, I think Philly is going to be a, a, a save for most people now because of the Josh Allen situation. Of course, it could change, you know, before a lock, but if Josh Allen's not going to play in 11, um, and you have already used Baltimore. If you've already used Baltimore. that's Yeah, that's a qualifier. If you've, and a lot of people have, uh, more than half in, in almost every pool, um, you need to have Philadelphia for 11 if you do right. not, in, unless you have Cincinnati. Right. So there, there's, right. a double, there's a double qualifier. But that's right. um, you have to consider these things. So don't, don't make the mistake to, like, lock in your pick on, uh, you, you know, Saturday night. Um, be flexible, um, be open-minded, and follow this news. Because if you can't take Buffalo in 11 and you need to have somebody else, it's going to be Philly. Philly is going to be vastly underowned um, in 11. It's going to be a – it'll be the best play in 11 for sure, um, you know, as long as they're at current strength. Um, but, you know, a few weeks ago I was saying – we eyed this Philly situation right. before the season started at right. eight, nine, 10. And I'm like, when you got these situations, you take them last. Um, right. Now there's a new last, the new last is 11, but the plan was to take, you know, the, was the, you know, to finish them off at 10. Now I've already finished them off um, in both of my pools because my aggressive pools lost. Now, if when I, uh, in week eight, when I lost with Indianapolis and Jacksonville, the point of making those picks was to allow for me to have Philly available for 10 or audible to 11. So I don't have any Philadelphia available because I, I missed out on those picks. I did not take Dallas in, in eight. Um, I think, I think Philadelphia is definitely, a, I mean, that's one of the strongest EV plays on, on this chart I've ever seen. Yep. Um, uh, certainly the highest of the year. I, I don't know if I've ever seen it this high, wow. but it's going to be even higher next week. Um, yep. That, that number is going to be astronomical. Uh, I, I think it's a fine play, but I, 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 even if uh, you, you have Baltimore or Cincinnati or both, I don't think I'd play Philadelphia anyway. I, I, I just I, – if your pool is going to end by week 15, I, I, I'd play him. But if you think there's a chance for this to go 15 onward, uh, Philadelphia will be a lone wolf pick at a very high spread uh, to close the season. And you're not dropping that far. You're, and there's a lot of options that we'll, that we'll get to. I would, I, I would lay off Philadelphia personally this week. Yeah. I, I, again, I will say this. If, if you're down to two people – and they don't yeah. have Philly, yeah. just drop them. Just yeah. play it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Head, you know, if you got a hundred, yeah. Or at least not, look toward at least look toward next week. If you if you got a few people left in your pool, map out what they're going to take in eleven to see if you should drop Philly there instead. Um, but Philly's a very and one of my pools, only five people have them left. I'm hoping, I'm hoping four people take them this week. We have zero of them. I'm hoping four take them. Um, it should be. I mean, I I would argue it should be you know two. Um, but, uh, you know, outside chance at five, I think four is realistic. Uh, cause I'd, I'd love for those, you know, those then to be burned. Um, let's go down now to, 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 to San Francisco. So I, I literally, when I see them 11%, I, in my world, I, I don't, I didn't know who anybody had them available. You know what I mean? Cause I, I'm like, I'm in my own world, right? I'm like, yes, I burned San too. Francisco so long ago that Week I three, yeah. have them in my board, you know? So I'm looking, wow, yeah. really 11%. Yeah. I guess if you have them available, you know, sure. there's certainly a play. You know what I mean? And, but then, like, you think about it another way. Like, if you have San Francisco available, you have week 12, which is a pain in the ass. Maybe yeah. you want to save them for 12, you know? Um, or, you know, if, if you had burned Baltimore already, maybe you want to save San Francisco for 16. You know, I I, I never I, – I just put, I put San Francisco so far out of my head that I didn't really – fact I didn't really think about any of this. So – um, do you have San Francisco available anywhere? No, no. I, uh, okay. Okay. The yeah, I, I have zero of them. I, no, uh, yeah, I, I have maybe in the one. I hope I have them because I'd love to have them for later. Um, now I'm just going to waste a second just to make sure because I had them available in one pool. No, I don't. Uh -huh. um, I was excited about this spread because this is going to make them less available to people in 12 
Um, That's true. Because, because That's I wasn't going to take them. So I, and I really like it because since I can't take them and I was looking at the, the teams that we're going to talk about next, it will take, it will draw ownership away from that other group that I don't have to take, but I will be taking, I'll be taking, you know, the next group of teams we talk about. And because San Francisco has a, a, a rise at, as a six and a half point favorite equal to the next two teams we're going to discuss, they will make my pick less bad. And I, and I put it that way because I would have done it anyway. Um, it, like if you told me that new England was going to be 30% picked, well, I would have had, I, I'm like, well, that sucks, but I'm going to take them anyway because I didn't have Cincinnati available. I'd already used the rest of my Philly and I'm not taking Kansas city. So I was, you know, unless, unless I dropped to Arizona, so I was going to be taking New England anyway, and this week I was going to take this next group anyway. So thankfully San Francisco's here to draw some ownership away. I, I think it's a fine play, but again, you're, you're, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be saying this a lot for these types of uh, picks. These teams have a lot of options. This is not like one of the. Uh, I mean, we're going to talk about the Giants, which is in a completely different, uh, you know, discussion. San Francisco is a viable play in 11, 12. Um, 14, especially 16, uh, you know, as well. 16, they're a great pick. So you, you have to look at those other weeks. And if there's any doubt, you, you just, you've got to lay off and leave the possibility for later for San Francisco. But obviously a fantastic pick if you have them. But you have to look at specifically week 12 um, before you make that decision and 16. Can you think of any, any universe where you'd want to play Dallas this week? Never, no, never. Uh, just to, just to go through it, you know, guys. Obviously, this is by week nine. Like I said, by week ten, if you're asking these questions, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but 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 um, they're they're extremely strong throughout the rest of the year. I mean, fourteen for sure, thirteen depending on who you have left for sure. Oh my God, yeah. Well, what that's what's so great now, as the the season progresses, in your advantage, um, yeah. and if you have, I have all my Dallas available. Um, now as it is right now, if I, if I had to make my picks for the rest of the season, I'd be excited about really excited about Dallas in 14, because I'm just going to drop in 13 to, you know, green Bay or something or Tampa and hope most people use Dallas, which, which frees them up as more of, you know, a, a rare pick for 14. So, uh, Dallas has gotten even stronger now because as long as you're willing to hold them till 14 and drop in 13 to some a little lower. Uh, well, let me, ask you, let, me, uh, let me ask you this. Okay. I was going to save this till after, but, but we could talk about this now because I actually want your opinion mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. So, so what, tell me, tell me what you want to do in week 12. Okay. Because Oh yeah, like if this you, is. This if is you tough. want to save Dallas for debt for thirteen and fourteen, that that's just all fine and dandy, okay. But but in week twelve, all right. If if you okay, if, let's say you don't. First of all, let's say if you don't have Miami, like if you don't have Miami available, you don't have Philly available. Most people don't have San Francisco available. You want to save Kansas City. Most people, whatever. I mean, what are you doing if you want to push Dallas out? You know, that's one thing. And if you do have Miami available, um, they're going to be a hundred percent owned. But yeah, Miami. Miami is a big mess for my pool. It, it's uh, I, I have the whole thing color coded. I, I did a lot of mapping, and I mean, it, it, frankly, it's just a disaster. The the more Las Vegas is half picked in that pool um, out of twenty three. Um, you know, basically people got through that uh, week seven with more or less only Miami or Las Vegas and with, with a couple of random ones in there. Um, Miami is just going to be peppered in 12 um, and it's going to lie, but it, it's still that push and pull. I mean, you might, you might have to take Dallas in 12. You might. I mean, I won't. Do it. I, I, I won't. I re I'm going to be very stubborn on that. You'll end up you taking know, the Jets or something like that. Okay. Um, I'll pr I'll probably just take Miami anyway. And oh, you have my oh, you have Miami available, right? Keep forgetting. That. In okay. in one of them, I, okay. I have my so so I have three left in that in week seven. Okay. I took one Las Vegas and two Miami. So I mean, if you got I, Miami, I, that EV is just tough. I mean, that that winning chance is just tough to give up. I mean, like yeah. Well, if I have three, we 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 strategize and. Uh, 
assuming we're going to have all our remaining entries when we get to a certain point. We, we know we won't, but you, you can't like, well, what if we have one? We don't know which one it would be. So as it is, we're going to go one Miami for sure. And the other two are our separation ones. And we have Buffalo available in both of those. Um, but it, we would certainly drop if, if there's too many people left of those 23 going into 12. I mean, we're going to drop to the Jets or uh, is it Atlanta or Chicago? We're going to drop to that group for sure if we have three because uh, you need – now you really need to have Buffalo for beyond 14 to have that next standalone pick over the over the field. I, I, I don't I – don't, I'm not trying to, you know, give up my opportunity to win, but I'm going to – you know, if you chop this thing five ways, you make a lot less money than if you scoop the whole thing. So it's worth taking some chances, decreasing your win percentage, win out for a larger piece of the pie. And if too many people get through here in the next couple of weeks, that's going to require saving Buffalo for past week 14 to have those opportunities to have, uh, you know, to be on a bigger, bigger slice. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna take the next one. I'll take Vegas next. So I'm I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna put them along. I'm I'm gonna talk to them about the giant and the Giants together for this reason. Okay, so yeah, yeah, they're they're so, groupers. So, so so this this is the, people ask like what 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 makes me happy. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what what was what makes me happy. Okay, like for example, like some people when they get their money in like really good and they lose, they get all pissed. When I get my money in really good, you know, I'm I'm really happy regardless of results. Let me let yeah. me tell you what makes me happy, and I, I'm I'm really not a great YouTube editor or stuff so i wish i could do this but but going back and we talk about this a lot okay um and this is the first well maybe a couple but this is the first example of of when it actually comes in right it, but it doesn't really come in but this is what i mean in week four um i had a couple of options and i opted for the giants and i went through we went through this for a lot of teams but i spent about 15 minutes dis- discussing this the idea being that they had a really easy spot in week 10, which would be a minus yep. eight. However, given everything that was supposed to happen, they were going to end up being 40% owned and I would want no part of them and to be incredible fade. Okay. That's that. So that's what, that was the, the logic behind playing them then. And you don't, you don't think about like, like what's actually going to happen, but in my head I was, and then you get to week number seven. Okay. And I didn't really think too much about this. I didn't play Vegas. I had a I had another idea. Okay, so I played something else, and I got really steamed when Vegas won. All right, because they were like 20, 30 percent owned or whatever they were uh, against Houston. But I'm like, you know what? I'll get these people eventually. Okay, and this is this is and this is when we get. Them. Okay, so you go to week number ten, and this is this is specific to my pool and my situation. So whatever, I don't have. Philadelphia available, right? So for me, I was like, okay, so I'm either going to take Kansas City, which I don't want to do, right? Because they're in 15, or I just kind of hope that, that some, something comes up that could be a reasonable favorite, six, six and a half. Well, you get a little bit, you get a little lucky. You get Indianapolis losing their freaking quarterback and like being the worst team in football. You, you have Las Vegas. Now, as six and a half point favorite, the exact same as the Giants. However, all the geniuses who saved the Giants have burned everybody else. So they're basically forced, in a way, to take the Giants. All the geniuses who took Vegas cannot take them. So for me, like in my pool, like it's the easiest pick literally of the entire season. Okay. Like, like when, like when you, Remember that a couple of weeks ago when we took Miami, but we, you almost didn't want because you really didn't believe they were going to be so low owned, right? Yeah. But, but yeah. New England was. This is why I was thinking. I'm like, okay, how is Vegas going to be that low? Well, because everybody took them already. So, so, so for me, and this is this is the perfect example of what Survivor is all about. You have the Vegas and Giants who have the exact same winning chances, pretty much, but one of them is completely unplayable, right? From an EV perspective, listen, if, you, yeah. if you're playing pure future value, obviously you can play the Giants because no, you can't play them again, except maybe 11. I don't know. We'll talk about that. Um, but uh, that's that's the difference. And for me, like, like compa- and I hate to like steal everything, but but comparing like this week for me is literally the easiest week on the face of the earth. You know what I mean? I, I, no, I agree. Yeah. I saved KC for 15, Vegas now, and 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 away we go. Uh, talk to me about KC. Talk to me about Vegas Giants. Just what? What? Tell me whatever thoughts you have on your head. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely agree with this is a very easy week. My, my partner messaged me last night. He's like, because he, he usually comes over Wednesday mornings right before we record this. And he's like, do I even need to come over? We can just right. we can just talk about this at your house tomorrow on the phone for like 15 minutes. And, and basically, we're going to argue over, you know, you know, we're going to Las Vegas. And then it, the, the decision is what we're going to do with our entry. We already took Las Vegas yes. on. Yes. That, that, that's the decision. Yes. So we're going to Las Vegas. I'm. I'm 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 gonna not let him not let me do it. Just like, well, what are your other? Let's talk about what are your what are your other options? Um. Well, so first, I have this whole thing mapped out. So what? Uh, it makes it easy because you know no one's taking Buffalo. If they do. That's just fantastic. But that's impossible. They're like three and a half point favorites. So there's I have a bunch of different groups here. Um. I I I first uh, mapped the people that have Philadelphia left, and I and and I and I put them where you know where they should take them or, you know, what I think that, that they'll do. There's only five out of 23. It makes it pretty easy, but there's one group that's very attractive. It's there's five people in this situation. They have already used Philadelphia, Kansas city, Las Vegas and Las Vegas. So they can only take the giants or San Francisco if, right. if they're sorting by spread. So there's five people. I keep forgetting San Francisco is in my, I keep forgetting that they even yeah. exist. It's so funny. So five people are automatically, as long as, you know, I don't care if they want to drop lower, that's fucking fine with me. I don't right, care. Right. But that means five people can't take Las Vegas. Now of the Las Vegas people, which is about half, um, you know, let's see, some of them have, that, that's where it gets interesting. Cause I think three or four of them have Kansas city. Now, if I if I were them, I would take Las Vegas. But of those three people, probably one of them is going to take Kansas City. So you know, it's just one less person on Las Vegas. Um, of all the Las Vegas people, they almost all have the Giants available as well. I think two or three people in our pool have, have taken the Giants. So. This is very similar to last week for me where, yeah, we got I, – I took the short end of the stick for the uh, the pick percentage on New England, but how was I supposed to know? I mean, like, I, it's it, – you know, I don't I, – I can't – I don't know who these – if I knew who these people were, it'd be different. I can, like, I, you know, maybe – Yeah, but you but know what you could do? These are screen – you Mike, you know what you could do? You, you could you could look at some of their past picks and at least develop some kind of profile. You can, so. but we're this is specifically between Cincinnati and New England, which makes it harder. It wasn't okay. about like New England, right. New England versus Kansas City or, or okay. Philly. It was th that's what made it more more challenging was the Cincinnati wrinkle. Um, so we're just going to take Las Vegas because five people have to take the Giants or San Francisco, and most people that have Las Vegas, yeah. there's nine people that aren't us. They can take Kansas City or the Giants. So I'm just going to hope that we get super lucky. We're going to take two of them, and, and it would be un there's a, there's a non-zero chance that four or five people total are on, total are on them, and that'd be fantastic. Right. Um, the, 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 the key decision is what we do with the other pick, and that's going to be a tough one because I, I don't want to use Kansas City. And, you know, oh, well, that, well, using – This is fun, then. This is fun. We can talk about some of these. Yeah. This is not bad. I, I mean, I, want, I personally want to drop because I think in a best I, – I think in a, of a best-case scenario for a situation like this. Well. Um, well, and, I have an, well, I have an opinion then. I mean, like, if, so if you're dropping, so we're dropping below all of this stuff, right? So yeah, there's so, only there's only two teams to choose from in my mind a, after this. Break. Wait, let me think. I have. Okay, so so the, the one that seems obvious is Atlanta. Um, Correct. You, I, I don't think you want to play Tampa because. No, that, Nope. You you could play them, you know, and it's 17 yeah. for openers, you know, not yeah. too yeah. I now the thing about Tennessee is kind of interesting because yes, you can save them for 16. However, you know, they'll be 100 percent owned in 16. So no, see, I did I disagree with that. Oh. Tennessee is Tennessee's not a play. I actually think Tennessee's the 16 play. And I, I, right. I found oh, this okay. I, okay. I found this a few weeks ago. If you sort by in 16. Week, Week four, no, week fourteen. Oh, you think you're going to get owned in fourteen? Correct. Because just, just look at the list of teams. You know, it's like Cincinnati's gone. Is, Cincinnati's the, gone. Minnesota's gone. Kansas City will probably held for fifteen. Baltimore will be gone probably or saved. C Seattle will be popular. That's the problem is Seattle, but th they will be non-zero picks. I mean, they're going to be right. picked right. in fourteen. I and more, and there's the potential that spread is low if. If Tannehill's back and healthy, right. I mean, we're talking about a touchdown spread there. 
Yeah. And what, you know, if it brings it up to there, people will lay off like, okay. you know, you know, some of these other teams to, you know, save them. Um, but yeah, when, whenever there's more than one option, I'm, I'm just not going to pick them. So the, the other one's just Chicago. No, actually there's three of them. Chicago and new Orleans um, are, are the three, I, I think dr- drop candidates. And again, those, there's nothing wrong with, you know, taking Tennessee because I probably won't use them, but if I can find a couple small reasons that are good reasons to eliminate a team, then I don't have to choose between five and 16. That is, that is very challenging. I mean, we did that in Circa and eight and it was exhausting, you know, like, you know, you have a group of six teams and you're trying to find out which two you're going to take. It's, I think, uh, I think of those two, by the way, I think Chicago is a, a better idea because at least New Orleans, oh, yes. they're available in 18. Um, I, uh, I agree Chicago is the best. And I think Jesse uh, had already mentioned them last week as a possibility. Is Atlanta uh, – Atlanta is a possibility yeah. in like thir- – you, know, you know, possibly 13. Um, you know, you, we would never need them for 11, but some, right. some people would, would entertain taking them in 11. Um, so, yeah. I think Philadelphia is a pure save. I think Kansas City really is too. That that again, if you if if you have small numbers left, it, this uh, is you different. got you have to save KC for but you just have to. yeah. Well, I mean, if you have a few people left, that's where it changes. Right. If you're the only one with them left, but that run is just so valuable. I mean, Kansas City, as long as they they stay pace, I mean, and they're way ahead of pace. Uh, you know, Josh Allen might not play for next, the next two weeks. And oh, really, I didn't. I didn't see that. Okay. I mean, the spread against Minnesota is three and a half right now on the right. board. Right. Uh, that 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 line was ten like two yep. days ago. Yeah. Um. So this makes. I mean, they're always going to play to win anyway, but they might be the favorite to be the one seed right now with, with Allen out for a couple of weeks, and that fifteen to seventeen run is too valuable. We've already used our Philly. If we had Philly, we would have went. We'd probably go Philly, Vegas, Vegas. Um, you, you know, you got to limit some of your, you know, risk uh, to be able to get to these spots to realize your equity. Um, can, you, but, can, you ima- can you imagine at the end of the day if Buff- if Buffalo is if, if if Josh Allen is out for like for like a month and they're like minus four against Detroit on Thanksgiving after all that? Oh my God, wouldn't that be <laughs> unbelievable? That would. I mean, that'd be. Well, I'll t- I mean, I'll tell you what though, like. Uh, I, do, I do not like uh, the guy's strategy in Circa, but if he had won and it played out this way, it would have oh, looked can you uh, imagine? Can you accidentally. Imagine? It would have been genius because they become a non-play in 11 as well. Yeah. I mean, what I would have done with his six entries, I probably would have taken one Buffalo. We, we talked about it a little bit. We're, we're just too sad. So it's hard to like play hypothetically <laughs> when we're out, but. <laughs> it is it is it is a fun exercise because when yeah. you have that many entries, you start picking teams you would never consider taking if you had one or two. When you have six, though, you know he doesn't need them. You would never go all in on Thanksgiving. That, I mean, that's just, that's just silly because you have to cover the upset by taking some other team when it, when there's a three game slate. But it if if he's out, I mean, that would be incredible because everyone has been backloading, saving Buffalo for Thanksgiving, including us. We were going to do it too. And then, and then save one new England if we had gotten there. But if we only had one entry, we, we would have caved and just taken Buffalo regardless. But if he's out and injured, I'm telling you, we would have, we would have taken Detroit. Um, if, yeah. the, if, the sp- if the spread is seven or less, we would have taken Detroit if we had one entry left and, and completely switched our strategy. And then that would have been fantastic because if you get through and then he gets healthy, you get to have Buffalo at the end of the season. Um, it, it's just cool how the season progresses. It sucks that it's at the benefit of the players getting hurt. But each week, things can change so dramatically. Um, Tell, remind, I, I, remind, me, remind me again about what the rules are for your playoff pool because I'm going to get mm-hmm. interested in that in a minute. So, so, you, so you can't use the same team in the when you get to, If you get to the playoffs, if you did not use a team – you can use them twice if you in the playoffs. What if you did use a team? You can use them once. Oh, okay. So it's not you can't use them. Okay. So this is when we we've won this pool twice through through chops. Uh, once as a co-win, I, we got heads up with 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 a friend of ours, and we just we just same picked to, to end it um, because there are no deals. You had to play for a piece of 
was okay. like Poker Stars Sunday Million, so we just identical pick. Um, it's very. It was different before because two teams had a buy. Now it's very weird. I don't even like. Basically, now you want if you save a team, you want the one seed or you want like a team to backdoor needing later. So like this year, if it came into play, if we had a bunch of people left and we still had Tampa Bay available and they were they were getting their shit together, if we were going to like to take them in the first round of the playoffs, we might save them for the outside chance that. You know, we're going to take them as a as a plus EV pick for the first week of the playoffs, and if they and then switch to the other conference, and then if Tampa Bay gets to the Super Bowl, you're, we're not boxed out because right. some people would have either got knocked out already or they already took Tampa Bay in the first round. They couldn't take them again, uh, but th- that's not even on our radar. When they added the 18th week, I mean th- that that really increases the you know you know the mortality rate of each of each entry and with only one buy now you know having it's just not as valuable to, uh, with a season being longer to, to so we're not going to even think about that until the only thing we are thinking about is and it's not intentionally um is Kansas City we're not saving them for the playoffs we're saving them for weeks 15 through 17 right but then when you're so close to the end, now you have right. the option to, like, save them for the playoffs. But you weren't saving them for the playoffs. You're saving for this great three-game run. Right. And if there's a bunch of people left, you can, you know, protect. but it's just so hard. We, I mean, you're going to have to drop so much in some of these weeks. But, you know, there's not going to be 23 people left. So we're, we're, we're going to – you can make a deal when you get down to 10. It's, it's 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 a tough one for the playoffs because, you know, obviously the top teams are going to be burnt, like Philly, Dallas, Buffalo, KC, right? So it's – um, hmm. all right. So let, let, let's I – guess, I guess I'm going to summarize this way. So, again, everything's pool specific at this point, but but I think that we could all agree that if you've got, a you know, a decent number of people left in your pool that you want to save Kansas City, right? Um, wow. that's, that's one thing. Second thing is that if you can get away with it, saving Philly would be really nice. Um, you, you know, if, if you have no options, um, like I don't know if I would I, I would drop to like a, any of the other Drek, you know what I mean? Um, if I could play Philly and get away with it. Um, it the dollar 30 is just a lot, you know what I mean? Um, and, and if you can even squint something at 11, you know, um, you know, I, I I don't think it's the worst idea to play Philly. And then again, I we talked about Vegas Giants. I'm gonna tell you that if you have Vegas and Giants available and you play Giants, then you're banned. Okay, <laughs> then you're banned. Um, and uh, well, one more thing about Philly though is when you're looking at Survivor Grid, you know these spreads aren't accurate. And right. one thing I've learned about these NFL teams is they lie a lot when players are injured. I, I made a really good prediction in the season. I said Michael Thomas will not play this year. Now, he played like a game and a half, but he's done the rest of the season. Right. Uh, you know, Ryan Tannehill, I don't even – I don't follow him. I have no idea what part of his body is hurt. But I just know these teams lie. And if Tannehill does not play the rest of the year, Philly is an unbelievable play in 13. And if you can play Philly in 13 and you still have Minnesota available, you get to save Minnesota for weeks, uh, what, 15, 17 or whatever it is that will be a huge advantage because the people that have Minnesota are going to play them in 13. And if you can save Philadelphia for 13, if, if ten, even if Tannehill's in, they're going to be a good favorite. If Tannehill's out, they're at least a 14 point favorite minimum. Um, and you're not dropping that much. I mean, you know, you're dropping a, a three or four po- uh, point spread points. I, I know there's, you know, percentage win percentage uh, involved there, but if you're set up, if you're set up well for 11 and 12, you know, and, you, and you're a little empty in 13, Philadelphia will be the best pick for sure in 13, even if Tannehill's playing. Well, uh, I will be, tell you who the most popular pick in 13 is going to be. I mean, it's, it's Minnesota, right? It's going to be Cleveland. Oh, yeah. Um, They're going to have Deshaun yeah, Watson back. They're yeah, going to be seven yeah. and 100% available. Um, well, no, yeah, I don't think so. Let me check yeah. mine. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, six people have used it in in our pool. And oh, my, well, you're down to twenty. Well, your owners, your ownership members are. are well, yeah. I'm. Th- well, I'm three of them. So. Oh, okay. I'm, you know, because we because we plan for that. You know, okay. potentially. Okay. You know, 
Yeah, you're, you're right. I do, I do keep forgetting about that, though. I, I'm thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. I, I completely forgot about that. But it'll be that'll be a fade for us anyway. So yeah. whatever. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. I I, I know. I, listen, I promise you, you're going to root for unless unless Derek Carr and Darren Waller and Josh Jacobs like all get injured in the next couple of days. You're going to yeah. root for Vegas for me. Um, I think we'll be released for some mostly some Vegas for uh, for Mike. And if he if he, if he drops down and does uh, something something esoteric, maybe he'll drop the pick in the Discord. He'll tell me or whatever it is, so we'll know what to root for. And yeah, min, min, minimum two Las Vegas entries for sure. I mean, and, absolute uh, rock bottom. I, the, only, the only thing I will promise everybody is that we are all rooting for Jackson. So, uh, and Houston, by the way. <laughs> so, so we're all rooting for Houston against the Giants, and we're all rooting for Jackson yeah. against Kansas City. That, that, That's right. All right, good luck, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye. All right, see you later.